guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're out here in the middle of nowhere, the desert of Palm Springs, because we have that off-road vehicle that you have been craving for. This is it. This is the first ever all-new 2022 Ford Bronco Raptor. But before we get into this big foot of a bad Bronco, let's talk about what's going on here. Ford. They've been doing the off-road business for decades. If you look at Parnelli Jones winning that Baja 1000, Baja 500, doing it in the old school original Bronco that's been around since 1966, if you could believe that. Of course, when you hear Raptor name, you might think of Jurassic Park and you might drop your popcorn and maybe crap yourself. But when we say Raptor in Ford speak, we're talking about that severe mean, lean muscle machine of an off-road vehicle. Now, it all started with the F-150 being that Raptor, but now, because of all the success and all the excitement of the return of the Bronco name, they decided to bring that bad Raptor add-on. So this really being that one vehicle that has two animals for a name, Bronco and Raptor. But what I wanna do is, we have this Area 51 Bronco Raptor, we're on the top of this mountain. I want to find out, is this the better off-road performance vehicle than that other brand, the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392? Let's go ahead. Let's dive in our Bronco Raptor and find out. Right off the bat, the style. You see the flared fenders. You see the extra height. You see the extra width. This thing brings it all just like on the F-150 Raptor. Your front grille is unique is specific now they did do a little bit of a different lighting effect you're actually going to have the yellow as your daytime running lamps but we have the hazards on you have your full led light setup we drop down what do we got rigid industries rigid industries they've been doing lighting and performance applications for decades not only in off-road but all other forms of motorsports that's going to give you that great illumination of course you got that modular steel front bumper. Ow. Plenty of skid plate protection all the way back from front to rear. You're looking at 13.1 inches of ground clearance. That is more than two inches than my very own Bronco Wild Track. This thing could go through over three feet of water. That's 36 inches of water. As we come across the front, you can see the unique Bronco Raptor grill looks very similar to the F-150 Raptor. And I'm liking the way they went with that flat gunmetal gray finish. This is gonna take a better beating. We got a forward facing camera with a washer and because of the extra wide tires and fender flares, you have to run those DOT required LED lights. And I like the way they drop them into the grill. Gives it a super clean look. Now, as we go back down, you can see the massive tow hooks that's gonna pull those V8 Wrangler uh, 392s out of the mud, out of the dirt. And just when you're talking about the work that they did with all the suspension, this has that Fox Racing live wire suspension. Every nanosecond recalibrating and we got twin turbo power. Now, when we get up onto the hood, I'm digging how they made it different. We have the optional graphics package. Very, very tasteful. That's something about the Raptor graphics packages over the years have been great looking on the trucks they look great on the bronco you're going to have that flat black hood bulge with functional heat extractor so it's not just about the bulge not just about having the look of a bulge but also having the functionality those functional heat extractors up top now as we come around the bend you can see that extra fender flare uh with when we come around the bend what are we working with wheel and tire stuff. We got these 37 inch, not 35, like on a Sasquatch package Bronco, 37 inch BF Goodrich, those KO2 off-road terrain tires. We got the 17 inch B-lock wheels. And then you can see, I'm gonna have Lori kind of zoom in and she has so much room there to show the suspension bits, all the inner workings. It's not just about producing more power, but producing better suspension performance. Another favorite touch of mine besides the hood, are gonna be these fenders. Nicely flared out with functional venting. I'm gonna have Lori kind of swing around and show those functional vets, vents on the side to help drag the heat out from underneath the hood. You got your flat black mirrors. We got optional accessory rigid LED spotlights on both sides. Really looking 
nice and clean, gives it that off-road Baja racer look. You're gonna have Bronco Raptor specific running boards, which can come off very easily with these exterior bolts. So if you're really pushing this to some new level, that will be able to just come right off. But you can see the size of the Bronco Raptor being a four-door, can't get it in a two-door. Let me know how you feel about that. Would be kind of cool to see this in the shorter two-door version. Now, graphics. We've been talking about graphics, not only on the hood, but look at how the graphics come up from the passenger door into the rear fender. Really fits it well, especially with this Area 51 color. And please excuse the dirt and the dust. We've been working out here in the desert of Palm Springs, and that's why she's all dirty. But this is the element. It's not about going to the mall or going to Rodeo Drive. It's about taking it out here in the middle of freaking nowhere and pushing it to the limit. Now, as we come around, you can see the LED taillights. We got a Raptor badge, the only vehicle in the whole auto industry that have that has two vehicle names uh, that are animals, Raptor. And then of course, on the other side, you're gonna get your bucking Bronco. We got our spare tire with the B-lock wheels, just like on my wild track. And then as we drop down, full tow capability, and then check out the differential there, the differential cover. It's got the Raptor R badge, and it's got that beefy suspension, the Dana 44 axles, everything strengthened to take the beating as you're going off-road. The GOAT modes have been retuned, but while we go ahead, let's pop the hood and talk power of this Bronco Raptor. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. As you can see underneath the hood, it says, Ford Performance, and you know what? We got her extra dirty for you because we're gonna put this Bronco Raptor through its paces. Now, I know a lot of people were arm wrestling, tongue wrestling, mud wrestling, just rolling around fighting over why this doesn't have a V8. Well, what does it have? Because it doesn't have a V8 like the 392 Wrangler. You're looking at a three liter twin turbo V6, that EcoBoost engine putting out over 418 horsepower, 440 pound-feet of torque, made it to a 10-speed automatic. It's gonna tow up to 4,500 pounds and weighs around 5,733 pounds. Now, if you're wondering, well, what about MPGs? 15 in the city, 16 on the highway, and 15 combined. And remember, the Raptor, Raptor has that ap approach angle that's gonna be 47.2 degrees and it's got tons of wheel travel at all four corners, and it's 8.6 inches wider than your standard Bronco. Of course, if you're looking at the horsepower war, the Wrangler Rubicon 392 is gonna win the horsepower war, but we're gonna see who wins the on throttle. But before that, let's fire this Bronco Raptor up and hear what it sounds like.
guys, we're inside this all new first time ever Bronco Raptor. We're comparing it to the Wrangler Rubicon 392. And I know you're saying, well, Joe, I was a little bummed out that there was no V8 in the Bronco Raptor, but I'm very curious to see the on throttle action because I love the way that this thing looks. My big question is how much is it? So a, Rubler, uh, a, a Rubicon Wrangler 392 is right around an MSRP of $76,000. This one has a starting price of $69,000, but of course you could option it up with the beadlock wheels and accessories to match the price. So you're really comparing apples to apples here, which makes it the perfect off-road comparison. But let's see what you're getting for the money to the door panels that of course you could take off. With this Area 51, you're getting a two-tone style that's actually blue up top and blue on the armrest. The rest of the door panel is totally black to keep it nice and clean. Obviously, ours is a little dusty because of the off-roading. You do have your door pocket there, which is a cargo net, large enough for one supersize rattlesnake sausage sandwich with extra peppers and onions. Going from the door panel to the dash though, you do have the simulated stitching, nice bright orange, kind of brings that whole Raptor tone with the Bronco name. It would have been nice if it said Bronco Raptor here for the passenger, but you got an oh crap handle for their right hand and one for their left hand because this thing with over 400 horsepower and those 37 inch tires are really gonna perform like never before. Now you do have these really easy to reach toggle switches. This is for uh, locking your front diff, your rear diff. All the controls are very easy to get to and that's what I like about this Bronco Raptor compared to the uh, Rubicon 392. We also get 12 inches. Now we have 12 inches of LED display on the, ra the Rubicon 392. You're only looking at 8.6 inches obviously navigation you got your pitch and roll don't be a pitch this is perfect for your passenger to see what's going on with the bronco raptor you could also see how the 4x4 system is working they did air down that's what that's called air down all four tires so that we could grapple the road the the not only the roads but also the rocks just like the gracie family who were awesome at mma competition you can make the map larger, which is awesome. Let me go ahead and hit cameras. We got a forward facing camera. The resolution could be a little bit more clear. I think that's where the Rubicon 392, I love the resolution of their cameras. They got a 360. And then of course you could go full 12 inch display on the front camera, or you could even do, do front panoramic. But I do think that the Rubicon 392 has the better camera resolution reverse. We throw it in the reverse, same thing with the trajectory. Nice, large, easy to get to. We got our start stop button. This would have been cool for it to be like a Ford Performance one since this is a Ford Performance vehicle. We got actual knobs and buttons for radio and your dual climate, heated seats and heated steering wheel, which is important. And then down below, you got wireless charging, USB-C, USB-A, and they put this amazing Ford Performance badge here to let you know that you went and got a very special vehicle. This guy here with the carbon fiber on the shifter, that's gonna be for the 10 speed automatic. I like the way it's got the American flag, the orange stitching. Of course, we got the GOAT modes, go over any terrain, specifically designed for the Bronco Raptor. We got the radio. This radio is for calling in when those Wranglers get stuck in the dirt. Breaker, breaker, four, one, two, three, come in. We'll worry about that later. We do have all of your controls for your windows that are inboard. This is where I wish they would have put a little bit nicer finish. I feel like the Wrangler Rubicon 392 has the nicer switch gear. I do like the blue with the stitching and the Raptor name there on the armrest. It's nice, high and up. Of course, we have Raptor. Spin it around, key fob, with a little tiny tray here. This is where you could, con you could collect your rattlesnake teeth as you're out here in the desert. You got a 12 volt, and you got enough room in there for your Jose Canseco baseball signed before he started taking the roids. 
Now what he's doing, he's signing syringes and handing those out to people. But anyways, the seats, love the style. The Alcantara material, the Raptor name, the orange shining through, nice bolstering. You do have electric assist for the passenger. I got electric assist for the driver, which is awesome. Something that you're not gonna find in the Wrangler. And then you see how plenty of room, all the panels come off and we have the auxiliary switches for all our extra lighting and you could even add a winch. But why don't you come over here because there's some things that I wanna show you that all start with 12 inches. Come on over, let me show you behind the wheel of the Raptor. All right guys, come on in to the Bronco Raptor, the business side. We do have the Ford Performance Badge. This is one of those true performance vehicles from Ford, just like the GT500 and the F-150 Raptor. I wish that there were aluminum brake pedal and throttle and dead pedal, but the big news is we have a dead pedal. I don't know why in Jeeps there's no dead pedal in the Wranglers, no matter which one you get. You do have your power adjustable seats. Love the stitching and the bolstering is just spot on the money. The other thing that's spot on the money, look at this steering wheel, the leather, the perfect thickness. You got that 12 o'clock stripe, not because you could tell time, but you'll know exactly where that wheel is positioned with the orange stitching, carbon fiber, and they even black out the Bronco. That's freaking killer. The Raptor name, magnesium magnesium paddles not plastic not just any metal magnesium nice and light nice and large and then talk about large 12.3 inch digital display look how clear the graphics are you got your pitch and roll right in the center i can hit the double r button which is your raptor button puts everything into the settings look at how it disconnects everything and now we're ready to rock and roll love those graphics and everything but you know what? It's not just about up front. This has four doors for you to share the fun. Let's get in the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna enjoy crapping themselves in the Bronco Raptor. All right, guys, come on in. Slide past those massive fender flares, which are removable, remember. Back seat, tons of room, just like any other four-door Bronco. But the great news is they took a page from the Wrangler, having that ability to do all sorts of attachments on the back of the seat you do have, of course, your cargo net that's here, which aren't my favorite for storage, but it's perfect for a couple barf bags because you can keep those back there for your passengers as they're puking. You got your window controls inboard, and of course, we got connectivity. Home power source, USB-C, USB-A. I just wish the switch gear had a little bit better feel. I know you're not supposed to put your, your foot here, but it's nice if they would just leave that off because it kind of just makes it feel institutionalized, like no step, don't touch this, put, don't put your hand there, don't sit there. But as I'm sitting here, I got a nice handle to hold on to as we're going off-roading. Of course, plenty of headroom, but we can even take those off. And then the rear passengers get the great seats. Just like up front, the only zonk back here, the biggest zonk is you get a cup holder, but this isn't an armrest. I mean, look at this. What am I supposed to put there? So it would have been nice if they actually made this an armrest with the cup holders, but you know what? Let's get into the cargo area, see what kind of rocks we could haul, because you know what? I heard that this Bronco Raptor really is good on throttle. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, one of the best parts of having a Bronco, of course, is that usable space. Just because this is about performance doesn't mean you still got that same great versatility. Really allows you to have the cargo room and what's great is think about it, if you come out here to run the hammers, you could bring all of your supplies and nicely have it set up in the back. And of course, when you go with the four door, you're getting more room. You have the ability to take off all the panels and actually store them in the back. I love the nice cargo liner that they have with the Bronco name. You got your subwoofer and you could see how the Area 51 color Another thing, if you notice, look at the bracing, and it says Ford Performance up there. You see the bracing across the top? That's gonna help stiffen up this thing. Because like I said, they went through every nook and cranny of this vehicle to make it perform better. But you know what? It's about being here in the desert. It's another thing to go off-roading in the desert. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in our Bronco Raptor. All right, guys, here we are. We're going into battle. 
We got the wartime helmets on because we are taking this Bronco Raptor to its natural habitat. This is where Ford knows so many of their owners are gonna wanna go to the off-road limits, whether it be desert running or rock crawling. But so far we're just kinda getting up to speed here. That's why I thought I'd take a few seconds to let you know what I'm experiencing. Suspension travel is amazing. Obviously the ground clearance is at a top maximum. And these seats are supportive and comfortable. I kinda wish they were in my Wild Track, my Bronco Wild Track. That's how nice the seats are. Beefy steering wheel. And of course, you're gonna have all the special modes with the GOAT modes. Go over any time. All right guys, here we are going through the sand, doing a little bit of off-roading. <laughs> Loving this Bronco Raptor. And I know comparing it to the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 392, many people are wanting that V8, but boy oh boy, the twin turbo V6 with the extra power that's pumping out of this thing is really making it a joy and I think one of the biggest benefits that you're going to find when it comes to off-roading is that you're going to have less weight up front and that's going to actually make this Bronco handle a lot more effectively than the front end Wrangler Rubicon 392 but I just love the way the suspension travel is communicating really well you can see we got a bit of dust here in Hammertown, USA. This is where they run the hammers. Big off-roading competition where really Ford made a name for itself many years ago when they brought out the F-150 Raptor. But this thing, I'm telling you, wow. Look at this. <laughs> On throttle. <laughs> really love just how confidence inspired I am planted we got the sway bar disconnected and all the modes I really like the way they have that Raptor button on the steering wheel to set up your preferences good sound from that eco boost <laughs> Yeehaw! But definitely the way that this thing is engineered, they didn't just drop, they didn't just drop in more power. They went through the whole chassis, suspension-wise, steering, everything. We got that Fox live wire system that's reading the terrain every single nanosecond to give us the perfect amount of compression and rebound damping. And I'm actually digging the sound. It's got a it's got a beefy sound out of it. <laughs> this is what I love. I know we're gonna be doing some really insane rock crawling, and this Raptor could do it, this Bronco Raptor could do it, but for me it's just running through the desert and just being able to go on throttle. Alright guys, I think one of the things I'm really enjoying is the great feedback to the steering wheel it really is allowing me to be able to position this bronco raptor exactly where i want it and having that forward facing camera right now as we go over that crest that's worth every single penny but you can see just the beautiful views but also the beautiful performance that they have brought into this vehicle and i really think that this is where it's going to outshine the wrangler is that even though the Rubicon 392 has more power, I really feel that with the lighter front end from the V6 with the twin turbos and the way that the Fox live wire suspension is working, this really makes it a, a more superior off-road vehicle. Whereas, you know me, I love that 392 to go just stomp an on throttle on the paved jungles of the asphalt highways and byways that we drive but really just awesome how this thing communicates with you and the seats are comfortable 
and we got the full digital display and I got my military helmet on. All right guys, here we are. I got my helmet on and my Hans device because we are in Baja mode, really showcasing the different driving modes. I love the way the Ford Performance Active exhaust does its thing and really allows us to just get through this whoop section. Just unbelievable, it's like the Baja 1000. <laughs> Look at this. Absolutely phenomenal. It's cool because when you put it in Baja mode, it actually keeps the forward facing camera on the whole entire time, which is great. Yeehaw! Woo! Golly! <laughs> But definitely amazing with the amount of feedback and how everything comes to the steering wheel and these seats hold you in so great. All right, guys, are you ready? I'm ready. Hard right, throttle. Here we go. Nice. On the brakes. Coming to a stop. The ABS doing their business through these gates. Now we're talking, here we go. It's like a road course in the dirt. Look at this. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> this thing handles amazing. Look at this. Swinging the back out around, it's almost like a rally stage. Now we're gonna go through a slalom. This is pretty wild. Here we go. Through the cones, slalom time. Fantastic. Great chassis set up to all have that confidence and that control that's just amazing. All right, guys, here we go. On throttle, yeah! <laughs> Woo! On the brakes, look at that. That ABS slowing us down. Now we're gonna go through these gates here. It's like threading a needle. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Slide around. Ride him, cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> this is so much fun. And then they make you loop it around so that we can do the slalom, which really showcases the handling of this beast of a vehicle. Look at this, here we go. All right guys, it's been one crazy day out here in the middle of Palm Springs. I definitely wanna thank the whole Ford team for inviting Radies Rides to this media event to get access to this bad Bronco Raptor. Let me know what you think. Has Ford done enough? Are you gonna spend your money and go the Rubicon 392, the Wrangler Rubicon 392 with that naturally aspirated V8? Let me know in that comment section. But until we meet another day in another desert or maybe on Mars, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile Come back to the channel if you're new. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We gotta give it up to the rock. Harder and tougher than any of these rocks all over the ground. Lori is working that camera like a champ, showing you every angle. Show her some love in the comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.